All right, Chimera Org, let's talk briefly about our off-world mining ops. What it is, what it isn't, how we can help you, and you can help the org. So, plainly put, you don't have to come out here strictly for the org to mine or strictly for us. We want to make you aware that you can come out here and use the fuel station at any time and the supplied ships to mine for your own needs. Uh, we ask, as you know, when you are mining ore, to donate a little bit. What, how much, and when, that is totally up to you, as you know. So, let's get into the specifics on the fuel station. First thing you're going to do when you come to an off-world um, op is activate the res node at the fuel station. Pretty obvious why. If you crash, we want you coming back here and not halfway across the universe. So, when it comes to fuel, you folks have free access to the Nitron, the Kurgon specific to that planet, uh, the supplies, and the scrap when the scrap is set up on the fuel stations, which in the Mattis station, it is currently operational. So how this works is simply you're going to put some coal, quartz, or natron in the left hub here, follow the signs, it will process, kick out the fuel over here. When you need fuel to fill either the jumper that's supplied or your own ship, just refuel out of the containers. Please don't use more than you actually need. All right, for Garnerite, you'll put here and it will kick out scrap. It does take a little while for it to process, so it's not instant. Now let's talk about ore. So when you are mining ore for an op, we have goals that we've set before we come out to that particular op. If there's at least four people on an op and we hit goals before we end up leaving, then what the org's going to do is randomly roll one of those people and one of those people on that op are going to get an expanded XL uh, large container. We'll just toss it in your locker back at the York base. All right. So when you're depositing ore, sometimes you want to keep ore for yourself and maybe you didn't come over with your own ship. You came over on a, a company ship. So how you're going to do that is simple. All right. When you go to deposit something, all right, let's just open. I'm linked to this particular container, which we'll talk about in a few moments. Let's pretend that this blue plastic is ore and you put the ore in. If you leave the ore as it is right there, we're going to assume it's for the org towards the goals or to exceed the goals. And when we bring it back, we're going to put it in the factory. But if you want that specific ore to be yours, then what you do is you simply right click on it and you're going to claim the item. Now, what's going to happen is to me, I just claimed it. It's going to be white and to everyone else, it's going to be red. And as you hover over, it's going to say, hey, look, that's Velteras pretty simple. When we go back to the org base on Alioth, we will pull all of the uh, claim materials out and put them in the respective lockers so you folks can access them back at base. So to unclaim the item, if you want to do that, just right click on the claim. All right. So let's talk about what we have for supplies over here. So in all cases, for fuel stations off world, we have some jumpers that are supplied. And you can use these whether you're on an op for us or if you just come over here on your own accord. Warp, however you get over here, you can use the jumpers. Rules are pretty simple on the jumpers, guys. If you crash something, you break it, just make some scrap, use some scrap, repair it. Uh, you have free access to the fuel, just like the rentals. Refill it so the next guy doesn't walk into an empty ship. So let's talk about some base materials. What we supply. So... When we go to an op, we're going to bring territory scanners with us. These territory scanners will be pulled off these ships when we leave. So on an op, you'll have three scanners, six cores, a res node, some gold scrap. Well, you're going to have some scrap, not necessarily gold. Uh, one large container, a pen, and some voxel. Now let's talk about how to use all this stuff. Uh, we're not going to talk about how to set RDMS in this video, nor are we going to talk about how to scan in this video. Rob Rance has some great tutorials already on how to do all that, and I will put a link in the description, and you can just look him up on YouTube, Rob Rance, Dual Universe. He has all kinds of great stuff. All right, uh, just as a quick note, all of these ships are equipped with radars. It gets really dark off-world sometimes. So let's talk about scanning. When you get to a tile and you want to scan and somebody wants to dig, Let's say you have multiple people using one jumper. Um, one person's digging. Scans only take 15 minutes, and then you're going to want to move. So 
what we're going to do is put down a core and then we're going to put down a box on that core and then you're going to put down a res node on that and then you're going to take some of this voxel material and you're just going to put a little voxel doesn't matter how much and where now the reason we do that is this the person that's going to be mining can link to this box by declaring it as their primary container and then they can also use that res node while that ship has then moved and gone out scanning now if we right click this to set permissions let's say one person puts the box down but a different person is mining it you're going to need to put permissions on that so the person can actually link to it and use the box so right click and as you see we've right clicked on the container it says set element rights well if you do that they're not going to be able to use the res node because it's only going to set the rights for the box but if you have voxel on this construct and you right click on the voxel and you advance you set construct rights and this is going to be for the whole construct so in your rdms use element all that thing all those things they'll also be able to use the res node or whatever whatever else you have attached to this particular core now we're simply going to break this down we're going to go once you're ready you've been picked up as far as the ore goes the ore is back in the jumper or it's back in a another ship go to build mode make sure the container is empty go to tool one by default hold alt remove all the pieces go to tool seven by default voxel selection tool select all of the voxel control x escape leave build mode tool five by default hold alt core will turn yellow if it's properly emptied left mouse button click it'll pick up the core and just choose any other number to get off that particular deploy tool all right so the other thing we want to talk about is territory pins we include at least one territory pin per jumper at least to start the op when you folks find a really good uh, tile and you want to pin it by all means pin it now not all tiles are great uh, so before you pin a tile it's kind of good to ask us in discord so you're like hey that hundred thousand natron I just found on Mattis I'm gonna pin it when you realize that that's actually really low for, for Mattis you know there are much better out there you don't have to share the pin tile with the org we hope you do but again we help you you help us all uh, mining is voluntary but uh, many hands makes light work of a project so that basically wraps up a mining op um, how we work what we do um, we go all over the galaxy and we hope that you can take something away from that and we have some like I said some supplies set up here that you can use when we're not over here on an official op just respect the equipment um, respect the gear that has been supplied and pay it forward when you can so that wraps up the basics on the chimera mining ops how to use the fuel station how to use the supplied gear and uh, what it's all about. We will catch you out in Dual Universe at some point in time. Fly safe, all.